Convent, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. So I am here to do a big Monday. Yes, I am. I think I'm gonna do a Mercury retrograde reading because shit, it's Mercury retrograde. It's April Fools. Um, it's Shekinah Easter for some of y'all when y'all hear it. It's Ramadan. It's so much going on, G. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna check on these energies and shit. Okay. So yes, I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with your sign or situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board inside the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your hand on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Terra Land. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. All right, y'all. So Thursday is 4-4. Yeah, so Thursday, 4-4, April 4th, right? 8 a.m., 8 p.m. for 16 minutes each. We will be in prayer, okay? That is the prayer event coming up. Please mark your calendars. Uh, if you want to join us, you don't have to, but shit, I'm just telling you, okay? Ask a nun or a high priest in the hallway if you have any issues uh, with figuring out how the prayer ev event works, okay? Yes. Um, again, the Life Flight deck will be restocked. I'll let you know, okay? Let's move. Oh, well... Probably because everybody ain't going to read the comments in Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine is suspended, y'all, uh, from school at least for a week. So there won't be a, a reading on YouTube on Sunday for Divine Masculine. It's just going to be a blank day. Now, if you're on Patreon, you know that there will be two Divine Feminine readings uh, next week. So the Divine Feminine reading will be a Saturday, Sunday, right? Uh, for those in Patreon, you know how it works. It could go any day, but you know how y'all are. You're going to get two Divine Feminine readings, one Grab Bag Monday. YouTube, you only going to get one Divine Feminine, one Grab Bag Monday because I ain't fucking with Divine Masculine for a week, okay? So just for those who didn't get the memo in the Divine Masculine reading in the comment section on YouTube, okay? Just, yeah. All right. Now, <coughs> announcements are done. Dishes are done, man. Yeah. All right, so. I had to look up about this Mercury retrograde, uh, cause this one they said was gonna be a cray cray one. Uh, it says um, on a on the on the good on the good side, it's a leap before you think approach to life, and is known for its impulsive, reactive nature. On a good day, Mercury in Aries is bold, courageous, and passionate. This placement isn't afraid to speak up for itself. Uh, call out the bullshit and volunteer as tribute. But on a bad day, Mercury and Aries can be a bit brash. This placement sends emails without proofreading, professes big feelings without considering the consequences, and is always the first to raise his hand, even if it doesn't have the answers, uh, is the bad part of Mercury retrograde. Minor inconveniences will catalyze massive meltdowns. Communication breakdowns will result in full-blown temper tantrums. And since Aries is considered the baby of the zodiac, it's the first sign, right? We'll all end up feeling a bit immature during this upcoming Mercury retrograde. Damn. It says calamities are always manageable if we plan in advance. Be sure in the next few weeks to check your messages for embarrassing typos. Cushion your travel itineraries with lots of extra time. Back up your most important files to mitigate damage via te technolo technological uh, meltdowns. And triple check the fine print of your contracts. Oh yeah, and block your ex is what it says. Dude, okay? Okay? So that's why I was like, well, she, yeah, let's see what's up. Because that's a lot. But it does sound about right, though. It's already started. What was it? Uh, pre- pre-Mercury retrograde, they said started on the 18th, and I guess the post goes all the way to like May the 3rd or some old crazy ass shit, I don't know, I just know it's been a lot of strange shit going on, okay, so let's see what's up, I don't think it's no coinka dinky, right, that uh, Easter uh, kicks off this Mercury retrograde, gee. okay, that's about things coming back or returning, right, Christ has risen, baby, okay, Hello, I love it. Anyway, let's get started. What's the convent need to know about this Mercury retrograde? 
I think it's eclipses going on, Ramadan, Christ is risen, uh, the month of the emperor, the year of the fucking dragon. Shit, what else could, what else, guys? Okay, we'll see. Traveling is what this card is. People, people in, uh, well shit, places can't travel. Things can, I guess. But this feels like people coming back, G. Okay? Some of y'all could be traveling like that uh, article said. Make sure you make plenty of time for travel. Like cushion your itineraries to make sure that you, you know, if any kind of mishaps happen, you're not late. So this is like, shit, I don't know about y'all, but at LAX, you got to come to the airport early. Okay? Uh, just traffic alone and just getting through TSA and shit going to take you about an hour and a half. Okay, so this would be somebody saying, well, we'll just get there two hours early. That's a, like how I just said, ah, oh, it's going to take you about an hour and a half. They say you better get there two and a half hours now. You know, it's like some other shit. This would be like construction on the 405 type shit, you know, for those that live out here. It seems like um, a lot of mishaps with traveling, y'all, for sure. Okay, make sure you turn on, uh, what is it? I don't know if people still listen to the traffic radio. Somebody does. But I was about to say, turn on your, uh, you know how you can have traffic info on your car or on your phone or whatever, how it tells you so you can catch or see what's, what's out there and shit before you get on the road, my G. For sure, in regards to travel, y'all, it's going to be fucked up. This, that down the one lane shit, okay? When you ain't even know. Like, what the fuck? Yep. Okay. Ooh, we... I do see a, uh, and it's more so uh, people, right? Traffic uh, or this mishap with traveling is going to be at dusk, okay? Mostly at dusk, not at, well, it could be at dawn, but that looked like dusk, okay? Like the sun is setting. So that's during traffic time, okay? It's going to be a motherfucker, y'all, okay? So just go to the bathroom before you get in the car, before you leave work, fill up your water bottle, roll up, whatever y'all do. I ain't condoning, you know, that, but you know how it is. Let's move on. Give me another one. Because you're going to be sitting there a while. Or flights delayed or trains or whatever the hell. Give me another one here. Yeah, you're going to be stuck. This is my Peloton car. You know the Peloton don't really move. It's stuck. It stays there. Yep, I'm telling you, y'all. I don't, this feels like a traffic jam, okay? It feels like a traffic jam. It feels like a, a train uh, crossing, you know, like when the uh, railroad, the little guards come down and everybody got to sit there and shit, and they move faster now. But back when I was a baby, you'd be stuck like Chuck G if that train was crossing across Florence and shit. Shout out to Florence and shit, but y'all know what I'm talking about. If you grew up in L.A. and you caught that train back in like the 80s, the 90s and shit, like off of like West Boulevard. Is that West Boulevard? Yes. And like Florence, right where the cemetery is back in the day, right? Catch that train, you'll be sitting there for like 15 minutes and shit. That's what this shit is, y'all. They just move faster now. But this is like uh, delayed flights. Um, this could be, uh, I don't know, kids getting out of school late. Like this a mom that's like, okay, I need you to be like out of school. Like when it gets out, I need you to hurry up because I need to get to work. You can't be late today. And the teacher hold that baby back in school that day. You're like, what the fuck? I told Timmy he had to be out here at 2.30. This this type of shit going on, okay? It's like even after you said or... So I know it said plan for extra time and shit like that, right? But some of these things you're not going to be able to plan for. You're just going to be kind of stuck in that shit. You know, it's like I get off of work at 5, you know? So I can't plan for traffic because I get off of work at 5 and shit. And you get on the freeway and it's just all fucked to be down, G. You know? So... And it's like nowhere near an exit yet or nothing where you could take the street or none of that. I'm telling you, y'all, we're going to be frustrated. I'm going to keep it so real with you. We are, okay? Just mind your business. That's all. Just mind your business. Yeah, just stay focused on your monies, okay, uh, in April as far as, yeah. Of course, keep your eyes on God. But, I mean, as far as, you know, staying focused here, you know, don't lose your job or nothing. Give me another one here. Be careful of uh, pedestrians, too. People crossing the street, riding bikes across the street and shit like that. This gives me, like, people not seeing them, especially with him flying out. This gives me, like, a, oh, shit, like, I almost hit a motherfucker, you know? This, like, pumping them brakes real quick, like, oh, you know? This type of shit. So I see uh, uh do you dodging accidents, but it's because you got to so pay attention to the road, too, not just to your money, okay? For sure. 
This is like, uh, so we know technology because they said that emails, proofreading emails, text messages and shit, uh, looking for typos, things like that, right? That's what this is. I told you about uh, checking your flight itineraries and shit like that before you go because it'll tell you like all oh, shit delayed or this could be somebody going to pick somebody up from the airport don't just go motherfucker check that shit because you know how that shit is they be like what uh, it's not what it didn't even leave yet this is this type of shit wow definitely pay attention y'all okay this is like getting off on wrong streets missing your freeway entrance exits all that shit g Okay, or interstate, whatever y'all call them. Okay, it's like missing that shit and not just missing it once. I did that shit the other day and I've been where I went and shit. I've been there so many times and I know how to get back on the freeway. I don't know why I passed that shit up twice, G. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I just, I just took the street at that point. Like, you know what? It's just fuck it, you know? Cause I, I don't know why I kept missing that shit. It's <laughs> something like that. I was laughing though, cause I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, this type of shit, convent. Okay. This could be layovers, because this is traveling and getting stuck. This could be cars breaking. I know I ain't making shit sound no better, but I'm preparing you, though. This could be cars breaking down, flat tires. That's what all this shit is, and it's like, fuck. Now I got to call the tow man, figure out this, figure out that. I feel like whatever the mishaps are, confident, you definitely have resources to fix these things or to deal with these things or to prepare uh, for these things. It's just inconvenient. That's all. That's all. That's what this shit is. It's frustrating like a motherfucker, G. Okay? You know how you hate when your computer want to do updates and shit? Not like you turn your computer off, you turn it on, just thinking it's going to be like it was yesterday. And now we got to do updates. And it's like, don't turn your computer off. And it's got that swirly thing for a long time. It's like, what the fuck, G? What the fuck? Like this? That's that's what this is. Mm. This is emails being returned. I don't know why. I mean, I know it has something to do with the server and technology and all that, but this is like emails bouncing back. So you may get a note that your email was not deliverable. You're going to be like, what the fuck, G? I don't know, y'all. Okay? You're probably going to say what the fuck a lot uh, <laughs> during this Mercury retrograde is what it feels like. It feels very uh, frustrating, you know? Yeah, it says the calamities are always manageable, which is what I was picking up, especially if you plan in advance. Yeah. The most important lesson for this Mercury retrograde is to remain calm, avoid jumping to conclusions, or making dramatic accusations, or burning bridges over petty miscommunications, is what it says. Okay? So, I don't know. Let's keep moving. Damn, y'all. It feel kind of crazy. Put one on this traveling here. <clears throat> one on traveling, please. Here. Some of y'all, uh, this is also going to be like a, a situation where some of y'all go somewhere to like a, I don't know, some type of business where they're supposed to know what they're doing when you ask them for help or anything. And them motherfuckers don't know shit. And you just stand in there. Because they got to go ask somebody that got to ask somebody that got to ask somebody. you like, don't you fucking work here? Why don't you know? Why are you standing at the front desk and don't know? They just don't, okay? I'm telling you, this going to be some shit like that. Trying to check in a hotel or some shit. They got you waiting and standing there with all your bags and shit. It's like this type of shit, okay? you like, what the fuck? Anyway, put something on the travel in here. Why is this here for this merc? Okay, ooh. Okay, then, sir, come through, sir, uh, with your Easter resurrected self, okay, the passion of the Christ. I said Christ has arisen, look at him, coming through, okay, this is uh, him being here to stay, so I don't know if people shocked, uh, but that's what he has said, so I don't know, uh, he popped right out, dude, okay, right out, yeah, people just don't know that's who they talking to, it's making me feel like, um, some of y'all or some people may come into contact with him during this Mercury retrograde, but you see how Kanye's face is covered, so you wouldn't know that it's him. He could appear in little kids. Uh, this is children, women, and men, different races and everything. Gee, I don't know. That, that's what it says, okay? So he's dang sure out here. So, I mean, that's why they made me feel like whatever you need to deal with this Mercury retrograde to prepare for it or you have the resources, right? All the stuff I said, especially if you're dealing with him, G, with the prophet. Oh, yeah. 
and it literally says resurrect G. Okay, look at him coming through. Okay, uh, is what this is. Something about, about traveling to the holy city is what I heard. Okay, to the Mecca, they said somebody maybe somebody will be traveling to the Mecca. Somebody could be Muslim out here. You damn sure gonna have uh, flight delays. Ma'am or sir, I don't know where you going, okay? But something about you having uh, delays in travel, period. But it feels like flight, like flying. Yeah, this day show him, okay? So maybe it is the rising. As far as remember, I was like, this is going to happen at dusk, not at dawn. When I was talking about them travel delays, I, mean, I could be wrong. Because this could happen at dawn if, if he rolls. You know what I mean? So this could be the sun rising. So something about early morning flights, uh, red eye flights. Uh, I don't know. Just be aware of traffic and travel delays, dusk and dawn. From dusk till dawn. Something about an energy vampire coming back. Or somebody coming back for the blood, G. Okay? I, I don't know what that even, what we're talking about. Okay? Uh, in regards to how, why they're wording it that way. But I do feel like people coming back to try to drain you motherfuckers. For sure. That's what that is too. Okay. Uh, somebody's addicted to your light convent. For sure. Or people period. I, I have a feeling it's not just one. But these are people addicted to your light. Uh, is what this is. Stuck on that shit. Okay. So I mean. I don't know if these are people you told to get the fuck on. For they get spit the fuck on. You know the whole drill we've been going through with this shit. And they just stay. Like stay like a peloton. Right. Just bolted into the fucking floor like a peloton and shit. These are people that you have uh, don't know that may be following you online. Or things like that. These are people that are addicted to your life. That cannot leave you alone. Period. So a, a lot of that shit. So you know how it said in that article. Oh yeah and block your ex. This block a whole lot of motherfuckers, but I don't even feel like y'all have no control over these people. Like the ones that are addicted to your life. That's what addiction is. That's like telling a crackhead you'll never find crack again because we arrested your dope dealer. A crackhead gonna find crack, G. You got them all the way fucked up, whoever thought that. That's what this is. You got this, whoever this is, all the way fucked up, convent. If you thought just blocking them on social media was gonna keep them away. Uh, if you thought you moving and all this other shit. They're addicted to the light, to that Christ consciousness in you. Somebody gonna damn near get hit by a car and shit. Trying to come. You know, this like this type of shit. People will be, uh... Very reckless trying to get towards you or get some reaction out of you or doing something towards you. People going to be so reckless, G, uh, during this Mercury retrograde, okay? You make sure that you stay grounded and focused like I told you, G, okay? Some of y'all may stay uh, later at work or work find yourself working harder during this Mercury retrograde just because that's where you find yourself the most grounded. You know what I mean? When you're working, you know, building something or working on a project or working out. Or you could be doing something with your kids. But I see you guys staying very busy during this Mercury retrograde. And it's smart to do so. Okay. I like that that passion of the Christ uh, came out. Okay. I could feel him. I could feel his energy. Uh, honestly. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, yeah, Ramadan, yeah, the holy city. Something about, yeah, uh, I hope ain't nobody messing with y'all right now. Anybody messing with some Muslims right now, not like that, but you really are dumb. You know, to be, I mean, I'm just saying to you, anybody that, uh, I mean, shoot, G. Okay? Yeah, a lot of you guys could be fasting, <coughs> is what this is as well, convent, Okay? So you could be, you know, when you fast and shit, you, it be taking you places. It's so, it's so odd for those that, that fast and like really doing this shit. You know what I mean and shit. And it's crazy how you're not even hungry uh, when you're fasting. That's how I know when I'm supposed to be doing it and when I'm not supposed to. Whenever uh, I'm not supposed to be doing it, right? It talks about that in the Bible too. When they asked Christ why he wasn't fasting and stuff. And he was like, we don't mourn at weddings. You know what I mean? This type of shit. So that's why I'm not fasting was what he was when he was talking to some certain people, right? But it's like uh, whoever's fasting right now, I feel like you're, uh, you really don't want food or anything. For real. Like you don't even crave it or anything. I don't feel like you're in your body right now. 
whoever this is. Like your flesh is here, but your spirit is like so much stronger than your body. You're really not in it. Whoever is uh celebrating Ramadan right now, I, it feels really intense. And I don't know much about it, but they brought it up, G. Okay? So shout out to y'all, all my Muslim brothers and sisters, okay? All praises to Allah, okay? For sure. That's what this is. It's a lot of activity uh, going on. Some of y'all going to sunrise service or went to sunrise service. Uh, by the time you hear this, you will have gone to sunrise service. If you go to a Baptist church or any of the churches we went to, I don't know if they do it in Catholic churches and stuff, but Baptist church and stuff like that, they got sunrise service on Easter. And that's what this is too. Look at the kids in their cute little Sunday uh, Easter outfits with their little, y'all got them all dressed up today, didn't you? They so cute. I hope it stay that way. Because I have a feeling when you see your kids, you're going to be like, what the hell is that on Billy's little cute? Teal suit. It got dirt marks on girl. He was all in the grass finding eggs and all types of shit. Some of y'all gonna see some Easter pictures of your babies and shit, but it's after the day. So take the picture of them in the morning. Okay, because if they going on an Easter egg hunt or anything, just because we talk about kids, we know that's not what Easter is about. Let's not fuck it up for the kids because they're innocent. Right? But if you want a picture of your cute kid in their little Easter outfit, you better take it in the morning. Because I feel like by the end of the day, they hair all this. They had a good Easter. They did. But it does not. They ain't, the shoes all scuffed up. They ain't white no more. Nothing, G. Okay? So I'm just telling you. Anyway. Somebody, uh, I mean, I really don't want to use the passion of the Christ card like that. But this is someone passionately traveling towards you here. It could be a, uh, yeah, it's a karmic whoever it is. I'm going to keep it real with you. That's why I didn't want to use that. But it's a 12 there anyway, which is the devil. Okay, so I do see the devil following y'all around too, convent. Side note, you remember in the movie The Passion of the Christ where they kept showing that like pale faced like entity? If you remember in The Passion of the Christ, it was supposed to represent the devil. But everywhere uh, Christ went in the movie, right, they kept showing that pale faced man that was like in the crowd or watching him from afar or whatever. It was supposed to represent the devil. I do see him following y'all, G. Okay, during this Mercury retrograde, Ramadan, uh, Easter, all this shit, okay? All of this shit. He definitely on y'all's ass. He ain't going nowhere, just so you know. But neither is Christ. So the devil ain't going nowhere with that 12, and neither is Christ, G. So they both are very active uh, during this Mercury retrograde. So y'all just be aware. That's why they made me feel like you'd be really frustrated, right, during the Mercury retrograde with all this bullshit. But it makes me feel like Christ is right there, too, right? This, this, uh resolution energy not necessarily i mean shit for some of y'all he could be right next to you but i mean as far as you think like him you know what i mean so surely i can get out of this is what they're making me feel like oh shit yes i do have a spare oh yeah i have triple a <laughs> oh yeah i can stop at tina's house and shit while the traffic's all crazy chill with her for a little while before i go home and not even have to deal with this shit it's like uh where there's a bad there's a good where there's a will there's a way yeah during this mercury retrograde don't forget that comment because uh, if the devil's out here, you know he like to come and steal, kill, and destroy. And I feel like it's our minds and shit and our faith is what it is during this Mercury retrograde as far as uh, not believing. You know what I mean? And not that we don't know God and all that, but it's like kind of sliding back and shit. You know, like like I said, flying off the handle and I mean, shit, it didn't say that, but like cut some motherfuckers out pretty much. Okay? When it's an easier way to handle these motherfuckers. I feel like you should still handle shit, convent. It's just the way you, you handle it. You know? I do feel like you're going to be tested in that way, especially if y'all got a temper problem, G. Oh, yeah. Anybody out here that's liable to pop the fuck off? Yeah, Mercury Retrograde is on you ass, G. I'm talking to all of us in here who got a bad temper, G. You better go run a jog, a bike, or something, or go back to work, or work on something, paint something, okay, when y'all get in that energy, because it's going to come. Somebody want to fuck with it, okay? The way. The truth of life. Yeah, he around here somewhere. Okay. It's all covered. This little y'all little children are covered. Some of y'all little kids gonna be talking about Jesus. Okay? Just going around just talking about Jesus, G. Okay. Something may come over your little children uh during this Mercury retrograde. And you know he loved children. Christ did. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was appearing to them or talking to them in their dreams or they see him in whatever type of form. I would not be surprised. It says the way, the truth, and the life. And it's kind of uh hovering over the children. 
Unless they talk about us, but it feel like y'all's babies though, for real, for real. This feel like us. This literally feels like your babies. Okay? Dang. That's what's up, G. You know if he watching over your chill, Ron, they super straight. Wherever they going. And I mean that shit. Okay? Dang. Okay, that's what's up. Some of y'all are, are gonna find yourself back doing something convent, right? You are gonna retrograde back into something, but it's something good, positive as well. So y'all going back to the gym when you could have fell off. This is you going back to some type of project, like I said, or uh, something you've been working on or something like that. I do see y'all going back to it. So you could have put, put, put the pen down for a little while, using that as a broad example, right? I see you picking the pen back up, whatever the pen is to you. I definitely see you doing that shit, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys, it's a book. Some of you guys uh, took a break writing a book and they told me, and you may take it as like you have writer's block or you're like, I don't know why nothing will come to me. And I I've told y'all a, a couple of this book, a couple of you guys this before who are writing books, you're the character. So as life happens, that's how you write. You can't write shit because you're in it right now. Like you're living the actual story right now. So give it some time. It'll come to you and you'll be right back in that shit. It's like you have to go through it uh, in order to write it. So anybody who's stuck in regards to like writing something like a, a book or a, a biography or like a true something about yourself or something like that and you're stuck, that's why. Because you're like in it, you know? So you don't know what to write because something has not happened yet or you haven't completed like a cycle or a chapter in order to write the next chapter, if you feel what I'm saying. But you're going to go back to this, so don't even fret my pet, okay? Don't do it. Some of you guys, uh, a long-distance lover may be visiting some of you guys. Somebody can't stay away from somebody out here, okay? I don't know if it's, uh, it could be a long distance lover, but because we talk about Mercury retrograde, this could be somebody who's been in the shadows uh, and finally emerges, right? Rises and comes towards you all passionate. So I, I don't know, okay? How you feel about it though? Let's move on. Put some on the Peloton now. All right, Dave Chappelle just flew the fuck out. This is like staying happy. I mean, he does tell jokes, but this is like staying cheerful and happy. You know, God likes a cheerful giver, you know? A cheerful servant is what this is giving me as well. So it's a lot of uh, battle here is what it feels like, convent. It feels like battling between oneself and the world, G, as far as how you gonna show up, because the world gonna show up all fucked up during this Mercury retrograde. It is, G. You know what I mean? Uh, other people are going to promote other things. So basically a good example with the traffic shit, right? Somebody going to honk at somebody be like, you fucking idiot, right? And I don't know, for some reason it just set you off. And not to honk at the same person, but when somebody get in front of you or cut you off, you damn sure going to call them a fucking idiot too. But you didn't have to though. It's like, uh, be aware, confident. We're going to be giving like, uh, you're going to be uh, put in a situation where it's going to slow down. Almost like slow motion, like right, that type of energy, right? When you when this decision comes, so uh, in this traffic situation, right, to call this person a stupid fucking idiot, or just remember, like you know it's five, you know it's five o'clock, you know people dumb, you know how the freeway is, like don't even do it. It's gonna make me feel like time is gonna slow down during the situation to whether either you decide to get into some negative energy and yell at the person in the car or just remember that it's traffic, you're gonna get home, you just your main goal is staying safe. Uh, you know, like this type of shit. But it's it's gonna feel like a big chunk of time when you have this decision. But it's really split seconds. It's really split seconds between this lane change and this person cutting you off, but it's gonna feel like a lot of time in between how you react. Yeah. For sure. So uh, just know that you're like uh, being tested during this time. I'm talking to my motherfucking self, G, for real, for real. Okay, it's so easy to pop the fuck off. Okay, because we passionate people. That's what this is. We travel with passion. You know what I mean? Everywhere we go, we kind of like, uh, you probably have a real strong personality, strong energy and shit. You know, is what this is. And it's just, you know. I mean, that is how you are and shit, but it's like you have to remember other people don't really know that shit or uh, other people aren't as grounded as you or have the capabilities, abilities, walking with the Christ consciousness and all this shit like you do. That's why you have that uh, slow motion energy. You know what I mean? Like time stops. Yes. 
It makes me feel like time, you're going to have some situations where time is going to stop to make sure you make a good decision, G. It's kind of dope. I don't know if it's, it's the Messiah doing it or not, but you literally going to feel like you have a lot of, not a, not a lot of time, but enough time to make a conscious decision to make sure it's a good decision and a righteous decision, G. And I think that's dope as fuck. Because it said people just going to be reacting and shit. It's telling me you could. But you're also going to have time to think before you react. Like, you're going to be reminded of something. Hermit. He's, that's Virgo energy hermit here. So you already know. Like, yeah, stay calm, G. Stay like a Peloton, G. And just keep the momentum and shit. I don't know what the fuck you honking for. We ain't going nowhere. This somebody stuck. It's like what you yelling at? He did cut you off. He did. But you was only moving up two inches anyway. This is like this shit. Like, true, 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 true. True, like you just mad because you're ready to get home and work with stupid, and you know what I mean? And this motherfucker's stupid that's driving, but that's just how it is, G. It's like not flying off the handle, comment. I don't see you really doing it. I see you staying grounded and focused is what this says, you know? It's going to be some strange shit popping off, though, uh, during this Mercury retrograde, okay? Jesus got the last laugh, they said, whatever that's about. Look, this is Jesus getting the last laugh, so I don't know. Uh, who he down here uh, making fun of, but he dang sure down here making a, a, a fool out of somebody, but I feel like somebody tried to make a fool out of him. These are people that make mockeries out of Christ. Mocking Christ is what this is. I feel like he coming down here, or he down here. You see him with his bag and his scarf, okay? He gonna see if it's funny then. This look like somebody working hard to get his attention now or to be in his good graces of everything now, reading all about him and everything. Look at this, after they was just laughing at the man. Okay, he is pretty dope though. Uh, so I can see why they would want to do that now. But I mean, shoot. Well, that's between you and him, people, whoever that was mocking that man, okay? Something with, uh, Somebody's going to be stuck in a contract. Be aware, we all know not to sign contracts during Mercury Retrograde, but this says networks. This makes me feel like someone's stuck in a contract at a job or something like that. Like somebody get wrapped up in something too, Convent. So be aware of uh, renewing something during this time. Because it makes me feel like renewing. Or shit, it could be signing. This is giving me salesman energy too. Like somebody like, you must sign now, you must, right? They all passionate, like somebody like real, mm, 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 and like on your ass, like what the fuck, you know? Like somebody trying to make light of a situation, but it's really serious because it's a lot of money or this requires you moving or something with your kids. I feel like somebody's going to try to uh, pressure y'all too during Mercury Retrograde, okay? They uh, want you to make a move or do something very impulsive. Okay, whoever this person is or these people, whatever this is, they're very passionate about doing this shit. Like that's their main fucking goal. They stuck on your ass. Okay, uh, whoever this is. This is also one of those times where you're going to have that uh, when the world stops for you before you make that decision. When this person comes around, that the world is going to stop where you get to make the best decision dealing with this person that wants to pressure you uh, with something. You're going to remember something and you're going to stay focused. Yeah, I feel like y'all beat Mercury retrograde, but we always do, baby. Uh, we, that's why we're still here, baby. Okay? Yeah. But this one is more so, uh, I, that's why I said I like that crisis is here because it makes me feel like uh, like a field trip to Earth. Like we're all, we're all on a field trip to Earth and he's the chaperone. He's like, y'all better act like y'all got some sense down here. Okay, on Earth, where I make you sit on the bus. Look at right, look at where I make you sit your ass on that bus. Mess with me. Okay? Says the teacher. Okay. Somebody may get stuck in Washington, D.C. Okay, that's where one of the flight delays are. Okay? Just so you know. Or shit, it could be in the Middle East. Okay? <clears throat> Somebody damn sure could get stuck over there. Okay, Israel and all them places. I don't feel like you don't come home, but it feels like a flight delay or something to do with somebody's passport or credentials or some shit. Okay, oh we. I feel like you uh, stay in a good energy, Convent. It says, ha-ha jokes, because this is the Peloton, stay in that way. Ha-ha jokes, I see you staying to yourself. Uh, Netflix, right? This could be you chilling with somebody. Like, you know, like I'm focused on my new whatever. You could have a new booski around. That explain why this one coming back with all this passion, right? And you got somebody uh, that you Netflix and chilling with now. So be aware of that shit. But I feel like y'all are pretty uh, lighthearted. This feels like, you know, uh, like you chilling. I don't really see any like uh, stress or anything like that. 
if it is, it's uh, well, if you do go through something stressful during this Mercury retrograde, it's definitely building character, stamina, muscle, brain food. It's doing something, it's doing something positive for you, okay? So it could just be a heavy load at work or something, or I don't know what it is, but whatever you see, you deem stressful during this Mercury retrograde is definitely making you stronger for sure, okay? So you'll be proud of yourself that you didn't cuss nobody out during traffic. It could be a small victory, but still, you're like, man, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Like it really didn't bother you at all or you didn't even notice or you just, you know, I don't know. You know, sometimes you'll have them days like I didn't trip at all, actually. And it's kind of amazing because usually I would. Yeah, y'all are changed, changed people, different people for sure. That's what I'm picking up on. That's why I'm like, it, uh, what I read in the article to you, I do feel like that is all relevant as far as that's what's going to be going on around us. But y'all ain't showing up like that. The fuck at all, G. The hermit is also the prophet card with the passion of the Christ. That's how y'all are showing up. They ain't even talking about Mercury retrograde, okay? They talking more so about uh, the, the rising of Christ, uh, Ramadan, and all this other, like spiritual, G. So I guess it's a spiritual Mercury retrograde. Mm, prophet's coming back too. Yeah, that's not all that's coming back, just people. They're making me feel like prophets. This is the one I subscribe to, right? The teacher, uh, one of many though, they said. So, I mean, the hermit is prophet. So, I don't know. Y'all know about a whole... We talked about Ramadan. And so, that would be uh, Muhammad or... You know what I mean? And all the other ones that then came before or whatever is going on here. Okay? Uh, all those, like, uh, gods we were talking about and all that stuff before, I'm picking up on them again. Like, uh, prophets, Greek gods uh, is what they're saying. Prophets and Greek gods. Mm-hmm. Some about them here, okay? I've been picking up on that for a while, though. Since the last prayer event, actually. Yeah, since February, G. And we're about to do a prayer event on 4-4. And I still see them here. Look at them. Jesus, like, I'll actually be on earth uh, for the prayer event. Okay? And some other prophets, like, we've been here. The Peloton, they've been here. Some like that. Some of y'all are coming up as prophets. Prophetess or prophets or some shit like that. Okay? A lot of prophesying I'm picking up on during this Mercury retrograde too. Or some some of you guys, whatever you prophesied prior to this Mercury retrograde, a lot of y'all may see this shit come into fruition. Or some other people will. So shit. And you're going to be like, told ya. Told ya. Okay. You did. A lot of people are going to be uh, interested in you. During this Mercury retrograde and just literally interested in what you're doing, who you're with, what your family looks like, what y'all ate for Easter. Did y'all go somewhere? Was it spring break? Did you wear leather? Um, <laughs> did you have on a scarf? What type of frame around your glasses? Did you have on a headband and a wristband or just a headband? It's like people uh, want to know everything about you, G, during this Mercury retrograde, okay? But I told you they was addicted to that light, okay? I'm telling you. That's what this is. I see you laughing during this Mercury retrograde. Not talking about hard, G. Okay? Not like a ha. Huh? I'm talking about laughing hard as fuck. So I don't know if you go see a comedian or you watching something, but something is going to make you laugh very fucking hard, okay? It doesn't necessarily feel like it's at someone, but this this is still laughing. I'm still laughing at this shit. The Peloton is, is still. Yes. So I don't know. You may go back and watch that shit again. It was so fucking funny, G. Okay? That's what this is. Something's going to be hilarious. Okay, you feel really like uh, you have lighthearted energy convent, for real, for real. I don't feel like you let this uh, Mercury retrograde or none of this shit get to you at all. It could be because the spiritual energy rank outranks this Mercury retrograde for those that are on the spiritual journey. This is going to be more of a spiritual experience for most of us. Then, I mean, yes, that frustrating shit's going to be going on, but you're going to see the the uh, reasoning and the, the lessons behind it, though. So you're going to look deeper into the shit. The hermit, pretty much. That's what's up. Yeah, it feels really good. Yeah, power. Yeah. People are going to witness your power too. I'm telling you, I feel like a lot of y'all done said something or you know something. Like it was talking about preparing, but this makes me feel like on a whole nother level. Like you're prepared for something that other you've been trying to prepare other people for. It's giving me no one energy. Yeah. You're going to be like, I told you. <laughs> I told you get your ass on that boat, but you didn't want to help listen or nothing, Linda. That's why you stuck. Yeah. 
There's people trying to find gopher wood at the last minute and hammers and nails and shit. That's what this is. You're going to see people panicking uh, during this Mercury retrograde, okay? With some flood is coming, G. You're fine. Look at you prepared, okay? He said get your babies, get your pair, right, if you have one or whatever the hell else, and get your ass on this boat and stay on there. And you heard what I had said, <laughs> okay, says the Most High. This is like uh, being saved, convent. I see y'all on the ark literally in uh during this mercury retrograde which makes me feel like other people will not be because we know how the story goes g mm -hmm. yeah somebody want to leave a third party somebody in the third party is passionate about you convent they stuck on your ass and they just watch you and shit so you this stalker is still around male or female or it's two people motherfucker still go stalk your ass all during mercury retrograde g okay uh I be feeling like some of them be like gay or lesbian, G, that claim that they not, G. Why the fuck they be on y'all's, like, nuts like that, G? For real, for real, you know? You watch something so much, like, you start falling in. You know, like, when you watch TV so much, you eventually pick the main character that's the cutest one or, you know, like, the one you kind of gravitate towards. Like, even in TV, like, man, that's the character that, like, you know, gets me and shit, right? This is how somebody feels about you. They're weird, G, just so you know. They're still watching your ass, okay? Still. Wow. And drinking and shit. Somebody ain't gonna do well, okay, during this Mercury retrograde at all. People are laughing at whoever this is. It's gonna be some, uh, a lot of people that are gonna be embarrassed during this Mercury retrograde, but these are the people that mock Christ. So now people are gonna be laughing at them. And look at them just coming back around, just making my rounds, says, says the, uh, prophet here. Yeah, making my way downtown. That's what they started playing. Oh, shit, some of our white chicks, I don't know, or, or black chicks that want to be white. Mm, something like that. Something about uh, that going on, too, uh, in, in Mercury Retrograde. So, I don't know, maybe they go back to wanting to be white and not black, or blacks that want to be white go back to being black. Some shit like that. I don't know. Something like that. People going back to their skin tone. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Put some on um, this man. All right. Hangover. I told you somebody drinking. Told you. Somebody could be from uh, Las Vegas or Nevada, period. But you know some shit popping off down. Ooh, wait. You know some shit uh, with all this spiritual energy, right, that I'm picking up on during this Mercury retrograde. Something about Washington, D.C. And, and, and Las Vegas, okay? A heavy activity in regards to this Mercury retrograde. I don't know what it is. I don't know if the profit coming. Shit, that's crazy. If uh, Sin City come out and we got the passion of the Christ, I told you the devil was out here with that 12. That's what this is giving me. Uh, sin. Okay? Something where you're going to see something happen to sinners, G. And we're all sinners, but these are sinners that uh, don't repent and mocked Christ, G. Okay? Hello? Hangover? This is like giving me like the one that hung. And the prophet here, you got passion of the Christ. It's something about people looking up reading about Jesus or I don't know, or y'all talking to him or something, okay, he done emailed you, DM'd you, I don't know, I ain't even trying to be funny, it literally says teacher, okay <clears throat> they're giving me like uh, because they keep mixing it, which is weird because it's got the 12 here, which is the devil here, uh, which is Capricorn energy, but then you have Christ. So you got the devil and Christ here, and then you got the, the hanged one, which is Christ, but then in Sin City, which is the devil. So I don't really know what they're talking about. It's almost like they're merging them together, which no, right? That's not what's happening, but it's almost like, I don't know, maybe they having a talk. It could be that. This looks like the teacher and the devil having a conversation, okay? Somebody in trouble. And it looked like, you know, the way that this is the prophet. So look how he looking at the devil. Like, you know you done fucked up or get your people, man. That's probably what he's telling them. If, if the Messiah had to come down to earth to come talk to the devil about some shit, he probably like, man, you know you need to get your people and shit. You know? Look how the devil looking. All fucked up, teeth missing and shit. Somebody teeth falling out. Uh, black eyes. Uh, I don't even know who baby that is. It's like some, uh, like, it feels like sin. So that's the best way I could describe it. It's like it's running rampant or something like that, but it's... They're stuck in it, and it's like fucking them up, obviously. But hangover, you know, to have a hangover is real fucked up. 
So somebody out here is like uh, made a mistake. That's why I said someone's going to be stuck in something, a contract or a job or something like that. It could be a marriage or something. During this Mercury retrograde, somebody's going to like realize just how fucked up they are, G. Okay? Just how bad it is or just how sick, you know what I mean, they'll feel or drained, you know, whatever hangover energy you usually feel, you know that feeling the next day, G, when you be thirsty as fuck, if you ain't threw up, you know what I mean, your head hurt, that fucking, like, your eye, that migraine shit, that's what all this is, but I feel like it's in regards to sinners. Uh, during this Mercury retrograde, we're gonna see something about somebody who, uh, we're gonna find out, or you may find out, I don't know, however this goes, in your family, at your job, especially if you work, like, for a dentist, or, uh, you work in education, or, uh, hospitality, uh, work in a casino, work for the airport, uh, anything like that, okay? Some rumor or something's gonna come out about somebody who's like on drugs at your job if you work here or shit. I don't know if you don't work here, but you may just hear something about a, your dentist and shit. You know what I mean? Or just some person, some teacher, some professor and shit just out here getting high and doped up and just. It could be a preacher too. Yeah. Just like a preacher all fucked up and shit. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You know what this feels like, Convent? This feels like, yes, people getting exposed, but these are people that use the Lord's name in vain or mocked Christ or mocked a prophet or something like that. Something's going to happen to these people during this Mercury retrograde, but it's something that's going to, it's going to crucify them. They are going to be crucified. And who better to do it than the one who hung him, you know, not hung himself, but I mean hung there himself, I should say. Who, who would have the authority to do that? It's going to be, it's, it feels like judgment uh, during Mercury retrograde, Okay. So I feel like if you're witnessing this judgment happen to certain people uh, in your life or just period in the world, I feel like that's also what keeps us grounded. Because it's like, glad it ain't me uh, type of energy. Look at Dave's face. Like, shit, I'm just, long as you go that way, Lord, and don't stop in my house, you know, unless you, you know, coming to have a coffee or something. But not to, you know, I don't want to feel your anger or nothing, right? I'm going to just stay to myself, do me. Stay fuck. That's what this shit is. Like making sure you good. Cause I feel like other people are about to be alarmed about some shit. Okay. Hell yeah. On that traveling shit. It says road trip. Okay. There will be a delay somewhere. I don't know if you traveling from, uh, the middle East to Nevada, from Washington to Las Vegas, from Las Vegas to the, I don't know. Okay. But this damn show all the way from one side to the other. Okay. East coast to west coast as well. Damn sure some some travel delays, okay? So y'all just prepare for that shit. Again, check your itinerary flight. Uh, the, they said the flight itinerary flight path. Yeah, you can, don't they got an app now? Yeah, you can go in there and check and see what's up. Track your flight, they said, yes. Or for people going to pick people up from the airport. So you ain't sitting around that motherfucker uh, for hours waiting on your cousin and them, okay? That type of shit. You seem really, yeah, in good spirits. Cheers. I'm not picking up any type of malarkey, G, at all. J-Lo is here. She's reversed. <clears throat> I mean, somebody out here drinking a lot, G. She's in a pool, and it's like, uh, I'm telling you, though, this that arc energy I told you about, okay? When I was saying that y'all are on the arc and people going to be drowning in this water, this vodka, gin, whiskey, Hennessy, that's what this shit is. Uh, when we talking about the floods are coming, okay? These are people crying in a bottle out here, okay? You're about to see a lot of people uh, suffer from depression, Convent, but these are sinners. And again, we are all sinners and shit, but we try not to be, you know? These are people that consciously sin. Because they look like he's saying, you know you done fucked up, right? Is what he looked like he's saying to these people. And they looking like, yeah, I know, I fucked up. Yeah, they drinking them. As people, whoever these people are that are really about to experience this Mercury retrograde energy, like in the worst way, G, they're anticipating this. They could feel it. That's why they're getting all fucked up now. Some people may be disappearing, falling off the map. You know what I mean? Disappearing, uh, what are they saying? Uh, off the grid? Yes. Off the grid and shit now. They're anticipating something. During this uh, Mercury retrograde, it's going to happen, G. So this is like, this feels like somebody, you know, they got to turn themselves in type shit. You know what I mean? And they just drink it until it's time to go to jail or, you know what I mean? Until it's time for something. This feel like this type of shit. They know something's coming. And if you got the passion of the Christ coming, okay, a child, this is a child of God, okay? But they talking about the main one, 
okay, that's coming down here, uh, and he's still the prophet is what they're saying, and y'all was talking about him, or not y'all convent, but whoever this is, it feels like people making fun of the, the Messiah, G, for real, or some prophet out here, okay, and this is, uh, I guess when he gets to come down, okay, as far as, uh, they said retribution is what they said, he's risen, Mm -hmm. Let me see if that's what they're saying real quick for you go to Patreon. Because they talking about the teacher now. They ain't saying really shit about the, I mean, Mercury retrograde, yeah, but it sm sounds small in comparison to whatever is really going on here. You know? Like a fuck a Mercury retrograde. You know? <laughs> ooh -wee. Somebody, whoever's going to want to book a hotel, like if you're traveling, uh, if you plan on traveling, I guess, in, during Aries or during this Mercury retrograde, it's not even Aries, it's during Mercury retrograde. So between now and like, let's say the first week of May, and you're like, oh, I got time to book my hotel on my flight, book it now, G, you will not have time. I feel like something's going to be booked, especially if, I don't know what's going on in Las Vegas. It could be a fight or something going on during uh, this Mercury retrograde. That motherfucker going to be packed, G. Okay, or something in Washington, D.C. It's something that's going to some event where some people y'all going to be traveling to and you think you're going to be able to find a hotel and get a flight. The fuck you are. No, you ain't. That shit going to be booked like a motherfucker or it's going to be expensive. Off, okay, uh, but I feel like even if you get the flight, the hotel is going to be the problem. It's not the flight. It's the hotel. That's the problem. So some of y'all need to book some shit right now, right now. Okay. They said, whatever happened to you in 2009, yeah, some of y'all had a real bad trip, G. This could be on some acid or some shit, too. Be aware, y'all popping pills to say roofie. But I ain't talking about that kind of trip. But I feel like some of y'all had a real bad trip in 2009. <clears throat> as far as, I don't know if you had to share a room with somebody or you waited too late. Something with hotel and travel happened to some of y'all and you will never forget it. Okay, it might not have happened in 2009. It could have just happened during the holidays. Like during Thanksgiving or some shit like that, Okay. But whatever that was that happened, you were in danger of that shit happening again during this Mercury retrograde, okay? So I'm preparing you. And some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, hell yeah, bitch. I remember it was no more rental cars. All of them was sold out. I had, you know, it's like this type of shit. Okay, side note. What about this Messiah energy, though? What's up? What's up with that? Yeah, this is coming down. This is my uh, birth canal card, okay? This is like uh, coming down like from the light. Like, you know? So, I mean, something's coming down. Something's coming down. Yeah. Catch this fade is what I heard. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He about to dock somebody. I. This is like uh, my foundation card is what this is, right? This is uh, somebody throwing stones at a glass house is what this is. Somebody was doing this, okay? Throwing stones at a glass house, okay? Yeah, that's why I see why he down here or this energy is down here. Because whoever this is probably likes to use God's name in vain or mock Christ at the same time or act like they're better than people or they're better than you or whatever this is. People at your job, family, some bitch, some dude, whoever the fuck it is. Uh, they done crossed the line. They crossed the fucking gun line. They started throwing stones at a glass house is what this is. Yep. Well, now I know why they're now here. It's enough of this shit. I feel like it's all right if, I mean, not that it's all right that people throw stones at glass houses, but when they start using in the name of God and in the name of Jesus and in the name of Muhammad and Allah and all this other shit, you know what I mean? And Buddha and all this other shit where they start fucking up, G. Some people out here are invoking spirits, the, the, in, invoking the, the spirit of prophets out here. They don't realize they're doing it. And these are sinners, okay? That's what this is. Some, I mean, shit, we've been talking about the new world for how long, G? Okay? Psst, hello? It feels really all-inclusive in regards to the new world, meaning the unseen, the unknown. So the unseen would be our spiritual team and things like this. Prophets that passed away, right? Angels, things like that. Then you got <clears throat> aliens, right? UFOs and all this other shit. You got humans. We got animals, insects. Uh, fowl, you know what I mean, that fly the skies and shit like that, birds, wings, you know, things like that. It's almost like everything is, it's all inclusive uh, is what it is now. There is no separation between anything anymore is how they're making me feel. It's all one. 
Okay, so it can appear in anything is what they're telling me. This energy, this Christ energy or this prophet or God like all this energy can appear in any, anything because we're all one. That's why I said some of your kids going to be saying some of the darndest things, but they're they're light. You know what I mean? They're the most innocent things out here. So, uh, of course, it says out of the mouths of babes out here, too. Okay, your kids going to be uh, spitting some profound shit during this Mercury retrograde. I don't know if they got to write a little report or something. Uh, they do something that's just like, you're going to be like, do you wrote that? Or you said that? Or you drew that? Or whatever. You made that? Yes. Them little motherfuckers shining, okay? Not to call your kids little motherfuckers, but damn, Auntie Frosty proud of their ass. Okay, I don't know what they doing. It's, it's some big shit. It ain't no little, oh, you made mommy an ashtray. Nah, G. It's like they made you a whole Tibetan punch ball and shit. Like, it's like some crazy shit. Some of y'all kids, I'm telling you, okay? Mm-hmm. Something about miracles or um, something that'll be astounding. Yeah, and I'm asking about the Messiah right now, though. They're making me feel like he's going to appear to y'all in, in certain forms. And other people, not just you. He ain't only just coming down here to say hello to you. I feel like he got a mission, and it's in regards to these people, okay? Because it did say he died for all of our sins. So, so for someone to mock that shit, it's like someone taking the perks of that shit, right? So somebody out here just sending that shit, treating you all fucked up and doing people all fucked up and shit. They're reaping the benefits of his of him dying on the cross because they're not, uh, they haven't seen anything. It's like somebody who just keep fucking people over like, la, 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 la. Life is great. I fuck people over. I do, right? This type of shit. But then talk about Jesus and shit, knowing he died for them to be able to even do that. But you're supposed to repent. It's not like you should just be a conscious sinner and be like, well, he died for my sin, so I should be able to keep on sinning. Somebody out here got the game fucked up. They may not think that's what they're doing, but that's exactly what the fuck they doing. And that's why these people about to get fucked up with they crazy dumb ass. With they crazy dumb ass. Cult leaders, pastors, uh, people that want people to worship them, all these motherfuckers about to get it during this Mercury retrograde. But it's 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 through like some Christ or prophet energy though. It's not like through man at all, G. At all. Ooh, -wee. put one down on this light now. Billy Holiday came out. Something about Philadelphia too. Aries. Yeah. It is during this time, y'all. I'm telling you. Somebody's going to get exposed for drugs. It's, this is like him coming down here to show people like uh, what they've been worshiping, what they've really been doing. It's exposure down here, but on a whole nother level. It's like uh, <clears throat> stripping someone of their clothes in front of a crowd of people is what this, this Messiah energy is coming to do. And it's not to embarrass people, but it's to show the children. Like, look, look who you've been worshiping. Look at this person. They're not a part of me. You know what I mean? They don't know me. I don't know them. They don't know our father, any of that. That's what's about to start happening during this Mercury retrograde. People going to start falling off, but it's the people that uh, man has been worshiping or things that man has been worshiping. Something's going to happen with all this shit. So these are like uh, brothels being shut down and shit, you know? Like the bunny ranch and shit, right? Y'all remember uh, Real Sex back in the day when that shit used to come on HBO, right? When they used to talk about the bunny ranch and shit. This will be this shit, but this will be them saying, well, Nevada, it's legal to for prostitution. And it is, right? But then it's like they're, I don't know, somebody making a mockery out of Christ while they doing that shit. It's like that type of energy. It's like do your brothel, do your sinning and shit. But as soon as you start bringing in prophets, messiahs, and all this other shit, and you know what I mean? Like that's where it's a problem. It's something that's mixing. So it's like undercover preacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Yeah, but it's like preachers at Diddy parties and shit. Allegedly. Okay? It's like this type of shit. And then go in the pulpit on Sunday. They know they wrong for that shit. That's why he coming down here. Okay? Or people out here uh, trying to help people with addictions and they battling addictions themselves and shit and want to pray over people and rub oils on them and do spiritual work and they all fucked up. That's why he coming down here because they're using the name of the ancestors, the name of God or whatever uh, divine entity or whatever the fuck it is people out here doing. They're resurrecting these energies and they're not resurrecting. They don't think that's what they're doing. They don't. These people don't think that's what they're doing, but they're resurrecting these energies and these energies are pissed off at these people, G. So your Mercury retrograde is just traffic and honking at a motherfucker. These people's Mercury retrograde is on a whole nother fucking level, G. It's like uh, skeletons in people's closets, demons, the past coming back. Okay? This is the past. 
coming back and shit, okay? On a motherfucker's ass. That's what this Mercury Retrograde really about. Ooh-wee. Anyway, we're about to go to Patreon. If you'd like to follow us there, please click the link in the description box below this video here on YouTube. If not, uh, that has been right back Monday. Don't forget a uh, prayer event, y'all, Thursday. 4 4 8 a.m. for sure. He, everybody gonna be there. Okay, what it look like? Shit, it look like you ready. Okay, you may be a little hungover from Wednesday. I don't know why, but okay. Just be there Thursday. Okay, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. for 16 minutes each uh, time. Okay, according to your time zone. You don't need a device. Okay, or anything like that. You could even be on your Peloton if you want to. You could be on your Peloton or in the gym. You ain't gotta say nothing or be on your knee or none of that. Just give them, you know, 16. You at the gym longer than that. So you can take 16 minutes uh, and just think about him, talk to him in your head, okay, while you at the gym, even if you at work. Side note. But anyway, yes, be there or be square, G. Um, but yes, that is the prairie event. Anyway, yes, you can follow us on Patreon. Click the link. Uh, but that has been right back Monday. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear, and I'll let you know when you can get your life like that again at thegettonun.com. And I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.